One of the most important things for any business in the world is the branding of the business. It helps in many different aspects of the business, in aspects of returning customers, prices that you can increase, and even how many people will find your business on eBay or Google search results. In this video, I will show you exactly how to brand your eBay store in the right way, and I will show you eight different methods to do that right, and I will also explain you why it's so important to do that and how to do that with really cheap prices and without spending a lot of money. Short intro and we are starting. Hello everybody! So in this video I want to talk with you about branding, one of the most important things for any business. I don't know why eBay sellers are missing this part and why they don't do that when it's so easy and so time effective. It's so important to waste this small amount of time and really, really small amount of money to improve the branding of your store because it will improve your store so much. I want to show you in this video how to do that right, but first let's talk about the effect of the branding of your store. So first of all, branding of your store will bring you more returning customers. All of us know that one of the uh, best sales is a, be uh, is a sale for a returning customer. It's the cheapest customers that we can get to our business. So. If the customer will remember the name of our store, next time when they will find our store somewhere in Google, on eBay, or even they will just remember it from your uh, visit card or something like that, they will go and buy from your store instead of your competitors. That's the first reason why we would brand our eBay store. The second reason is because it will rank us higher on eBay's search results because when people are knowing us better, if someone knows us better, they will click on our listing and then eBay will understand that people are really searching for our brand and our store instead of our competitors. So it will rank us higher and we will get more sales. The last thing here and one of the most important things is the pricing. If our store is branded, we can price our uh, products much higher, we can put higher prices, make more profits because people already know us and understand that this uh, store is a professional store and this company we want to deal with them because they give us uh, great customer support and different aspects that will help us to increase the prices and will help people to trust us and buy from us. So let's jump into the eight methods how to brand our eBay stores. Step number one, the template of our listing. So this one is, uh, I guess that most of you know what I'm talking about, but I will go over it shortly because this one is critical. I just opened the random product on eBay and what we can see here, for example, that we don't really uh, see here something branded or any beautiful template. So that's a bad example of how it should look like. But let's write here, I don't know, a toy for example, just to find something which looks better than what we just saw. This one also a bad one. As I said before, I don't know why people don't uh, spend enough uh, attention to this, but templates are critical for your store. So let's jump and see how we can improve this thing and really put a good template for our store. What I will do is I will go to Fiverr, I will write here template. For those of you who don't know, Fiverr is a marketplace where you can just hire someone to do a specific job for you. And here we can see a, a lot of different offers. Let's just add the word eBay here. And we can see here different uh, professionals who offer to build a template for us. I wouldn't choose someone cheap, but I would choose someone by the amount of their feedbacks. We also can give some recommendations which you can find on our blog post that I will attach below this video. So what we see here is different uh, people who just offer different uh, templates. Just go there and you will find someone who can build a great template for you. Mostly the prices will go between 
uh, 20 dollars to up to maybe 50 60 dollars per template but i will really i would really go for something which is uh, around 20 dollars build one template for uh, myself and then stick with this one before you do the template i would really recommend you to also create a logo for your store which can also be done on this side so if we cover the logo and the ebay template we already have two things that are specific to our store and we really make us different than our competitors so ebay template and we can also write ebay logo or store logo or anything like that on fiverr and just find someone pay him and create something branded for ourselves after we create the logo and the template we should also create the cover for our store so if i go to any store here on ebay i click on it here at the top we will see this banner this banner is also something that should be branded and you can also find it on fiverr so i would order from the same person the logo the banner and the template and you can even discuss with them for a better pricing for uh, this type of job so after we have these three elements in case of designs we already ready and we can already start and adding them to our store so after that we will see something which is which will be much more beautiful here we will see here a, a store logo banner and if we go to any of our templates or of our listings we will see there the right template by the way if you bought a template most of the service providers on fiverr already know autods so just give them your login details to autods you can even give them an access of the va and then tell them to add a template for you in the system all what they need to do is to go to uploader add new template and most of them will already know how to use our template builder and integrate the template for you in the system and in this uh, way you will not even spend time of integrating the template because they will do that for you so now let's jump to the branding trick number three and this is the third thing that is really important for us and this is the description here so we have the logo banner template now we need to explain who are we and what is this story about so i would write here something which we really go to the heart of our buyers and explain them why this story is so important for us why they will get the best customer experience with you if they work with you for example this is a store of my entire family and all of us managing this store together to provide the best service for you because that's what we love and that's what we are making the living from and this will really give the confidence to your buyers to buy specifically from you because think about yourself from whom would you buy from someone like this seller who just writes uh, based in china his store name and that's all or from someone who writes there really something specific which is really unique for them and you really feel that you're dealing with a real person who cares about you so this is something that is critical when we covered all this stuff we can jump into the next step the next step and this is the tip number four for branding your ebay dropshipping store and this is the gift message when you dropship from amazon aliexpress walmart or any other supplier you have an option in your order to add a gift message now if you think about that this is our time to give our customer another reminder that we are the person who sends him who sent him the product and now they will be happy because they got the product now mostly if you do dropshipping from amazon for example they will be in this moment super happy to get the product fast and then they will remember your brand as something good now let's see how it works if you go to amazon or walmart or any supplier when you make the order in the last step you just put the gift message if you work with automated orders in AutoDS, you just need to go to orders processor click the edit button and then choose here the gift message and right here thanks from buying from us and remind them the name of your store 
For example, thanks for buying from us, the Oral's store. We wish you to enjoy the product or anything like that. But remember to remind them from whom they bought the product. So if you add the gift message, it's another opportunity for you to remind them that, hey, we gave you the product, please rem remember us. And also you can write here, uh, please leave us a feedback on our eBay store. Just for example, then they will also remind uh, that they need to go and give you something nice back because it's important for you. I would even spend more time in the copy of this message so uh, I, I can write there something like it's really important for us, it will change our life if, if you put a positive feedback for us. Step number five in branding our eBay store. So branding is not only about texts and about images or templates or a cover picture. Branding starts and finishes with customer support. Same as we do in AutoDS and we always focus on giving the best customer support that's important for any business. Same for eBay store and eBay also values this a lot. Maybe you heard a lot about people who got suspended on eBay. Now, mostly the reason is just bad customer support, but it's also very important for branding. So. To give the best customer support, you need to create templates for messages for yourself. Templates that really had some copywriting, something which will really be written with a good language, good English, and will be clear for your customers and show that you're a professional store. If you work with AutoDS customer support system, you can integrate their messages, temp uh, templates for messages, and then with the click of a button, send it to your customers. So that's what I would recommend to you. Go to customer service, click on view and reply. And then here in the bottom, you can add messages templates. When you add the messages templates here, make sure that for the signature of any message, you use your store name. For example, thanks, and then your store name. Also, remember always to, to uh, contact the buyer using their name. So to do that, what you need to do is just to put full buyer name here. And then with the click of a button, AutoDS will use the name of the buyer when you send this message. So this is something which is really critical and I really recommend you to spend a lot of time and a lot of efforts and focus on improving your customer support. If you do a good customer support, the customers will remember you and this will also affect and improve your branding. Tip number six, always stay in the mind of your customers. Again, same as we did with the gift message. If you work manually, remember to send follow-up messages to your customers. Hey, I already sent your uh, product. It's on the way to you and it will arrive within X time. Or, hey, here is your tracking number. You can follow it here. You can track your tracking number here. And in the end, the third message will be, hey, I, I know that you already got your product. I'm, I hope that you're happy with the product and the service that you got. Please leave us a positive feedback. Positive feedbacks for sure will also improve your branding and your eBay store. How to do that automatically? If you use AutoDS, go to the monitors page, then go to orders processor, and then just click here messages to buyers choose the messages that you want to send to your buyers automatically and it will be sent to your customers. The next tip step here is the tip number seven. Watermarks. You want to make your images look also as part of your brand. So when you list products to eBay, make sure that you add there a small watermark that shows people that this is your store. This is something that is not a, will not make a huge difference, but all together will make the big difference. If you work using AutoDS, go to settings, just add a watermark here, upload the picture, and that's all. After that, for any of your products, you can, with the click of a button, add this watermark to all your pictures, and that's all. This is really highly recommended, and it will make your photos and pictures 
look different from all of your competitors. It will increase the chance that people will click on your listing and for sure it will also improve your branding. The last thing and this is the eighth step to brand your eBay store and this is the social media. We wrote about it on our uh, blog post about branding which you can also read and we already talked about what I said in this video in this blog post and this is the social media. You can read eBay's FAQ about using social media but shortly what I recommend you to do is to create Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest pages for your uh, eBay store and list there your top products. Share some information about your store, share some information about the products that you list to your store in this social media. Now, it's not something that within one day you will get a lot of followers, a lot of traffic to your store from this social media. But after some time, if you really put efforts in this and put focus on improving your social media networks for your eBay store, first you will get assets you will get assets that will which will stand with you for the long term term it will help you if you create more stores for example if right now you have only ebay store but soon you will also open a woocommerce store or shopify store or amazon store it will still stay with you and will be part of your brand it also gives much more confidence to your buyers to buy from you when they see that this is a real brand that has some more uh, networks and some more channels where they can follow you and learn more about you. I really recommend you to take all these eight tips that we already talked about. Let's go over them really quickly and uh, see what we talked about. So we talked about templates. We talked about uh, the logo and the cover. We talked about the store description the gift messages, the customer service, which is super important, custom messages to buyers, the watermark, the social media, and all this together will give you huge results and you will see huge increase in your sales for the over time. What I recommend you to do is just go to the orders page in AutoDS, export the, the orders and check in Google Sheets or Excel in your computer how many returning customers you see right now. After that, two months after you branded your store, check this again and you will see a significant change in the amount of a returning customers that you see in your store. I hope that you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Share anything that you would like to know about dropshipping in the comment section. Like this video and share it with other eBay sellers and dropshippers. See you in the next videos. Bye bye.